Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And before we get started, let's get the shout outs. Let's get the shout outs out of the way. Today's shout outs goes to Tony Carey. Tony Carey was first to say first in one of my recent videos and wins this shout out. So, congratulations, Tony. So, what do I got for you today? This is the new Cheerson CX43. What is the Cheerson CX43? Well, you can see right now that I got my phone attached to its controller, so we know right away that it is a Wi Fi FPV flyer. But in addition to that, let's take a look at the drone itself. It is a folding drone, a compact folding drone. We open it up, and in addition to being a compact folding drone, it has optical flow position hold. So that means this can easily ma or can maintain uh, position, similar to a GPS drone, without you having to provide input to it. Um, it'll just hold its position. With that in mind, it has also has a 1080p camera on the front of it. So this is intended as a portable, easy to fly FPV camera drone, a selfie drone in effect, because you know, you take it with you and plop it in the air and take your pictures because you don't need to fly it. You know, it holds its position. Now, long range FPV flying, I don't know because we're using Wi Fi, keep in mind. Um, altitude also, this ain't going to fly very high and be able to maintain its position. Okay, once you go above, I don't know, about 10 meters or so, we'll, we'll test it out here shortly, um, the optical flow starts to become less effective and eventually it just stops working and it'll start to drift with the wind. But uh, with that in mind, we do have a wind today. It's about four knots. So we'll see how well this performs in the wind. Now, <laughs> notice the way the motors are installed before I, we go on here. And the motors are in here. And there's a gear, gear system here, pinion and uh, main gear here. But notice that the propellers are, are facing downward in the front and upward in the back. <laughs> it's just unusual. <laughs> but supposedly that should work. We'll find out here shortly. Let's go over the controller before we go flying. Here's the controller, on off switch here, um, buttons here. This is for entering headless mode if you push forward like this. Um, the back button here is used for changing modes. You can use mode one or mode two, you know, where you put the throttle on the right or left stick by holding down this button here while simultaneously turning on the transmitter, and that will switch between the two modes. Notice that the transmitter slides open for better feel if you want. <laughs> Or if you got tiny hands, want to keep it close, you can do that too. But um, this left button here, which is my currently my throttle button and yaw button or stick, um, if you press into it, it changes the rates from beginner, intermediate to expert. And if you hold it down for a long time, um, it'll it'll switch between altitude hold and optical flow position hold. So you can turn off the optical flow by holding this button down for a long period. Um, the right stick, the right side here, if you hold into this, while in altitude hold mode only, you will be able to do flips. This will flip in altitude hold mode. Um, and take off, automatic takeoff is this button here, and automatic landing is this button here. So that's it. Before we go, I forgot to mention the battery on this thing. Um, notice, <laughs> press this button in here, and notice this is a modular camera. Okay, so that means there's other models probably of this CX43. This is the 1080p version, 1080p Wi-Fi optical hold version because the optical flow is there and there's the 1080p camera. And in addition, there is a micro SD card slot in this. So this records directly to micro SD to avoid uh, Wi-Fi lag that you normally see with other Wi-Fi FPV flyers. Also holding this button in here, you can remove the battery. And notice that the battery is a little <laughs> proprietary battery 3.7 volt lipo 850 milliamp per hour so you're going to need to uh, buy Cheerson batteries for this because Cheerson batteries specifically designed for this drone keep that in mind folks and your on off button is right there so let's fire this up fire up the Cheerson app and see how it flies so hope you enjoy this flight Okay, this is the Cheerson CX Watcher app, and if you notice, when you first turn it on here, it shows you what all the buttons are for. Um, let's just tap it one time here and uh, go into the gear icon to show you what, what is available in the settings. But it's just simple. You can have left-handed throttle, right-handed throttle, and uh, sound effects. If you press that, I'll, I'll keep the sound effects on. And the control instructions is on and off. I think that's what you see when you first open it up. So going back to the main screen and hitting camera, hitting skip, <laughs> and we should see the main screen here shortly, and we do. Now, I am going to select 
video camera, which is the one on the bottom. And I'm going to start video from the camera recording. And we should be ready to go. So all I need, need really need to do, I believe, is press the automatic takeoff button. I'm going to step back a bit. And let's see how the optical flow position hold is working. Well, notice I'm not flying it. It's working very well. Let me get in front of it. In front of the camera. Go up a bit higher. And show you, this is what the camera is. Um, I'm looking at it, it's kind of washed out here. It's early in the morning about, uh, still early in the morning because I'm flying, I'm out in the desert here and uh, it's hot. I have to fly at this time of day. But <laughs> looking at uh, the camera, it appears to be a bit washed out, uh, the image quality of it. But uh, let's stop it right there for a second because I want to try the still photos. Let's try still photo. And take another one here, get a profile. And one more, right profile. And then going back to video camera. And recording on video. And syncing up the video. I'm seeing some lag. Now, notice, as per the instructions, it tells you to lower this antenna. See how I did, did that? I got the antenna downward. Uh, that's supposedly to improve the reception, but uh, I'm still seeing quite a bit of lag. But um, let's go upwind and raise the altitude of this up a bit. Going up higher, going upwind so that when it starts to drift, it'll drift back toward me. I am still in low rate. Let's increase the rate a bit to go into that wind. Going right about there, plopping it, and then raising the altitude until it starts to drift. Going up higher, going up higher, slowly increasing. Letting go there. I'm about eight meters up and it's drifting backwards. So the, the limit on grass, I'm on a grassy surface here, seems to be about eight meters. There it's drifting back behind me. So bringing it back down again. Now, let's see if I can fly this FPV. Well, the camera's point is somewhat toward the ground, so <laughs> that's kind of hard. <laughs> um, let's let go of the stick and we'll see, see that the camera is point it downward somewhat at an angle I'm saying about 10 degrees 15 degrees so um, as a selfie camera it's, it's working um, I don't know about the quality of the 1080p video we'll find out afterwards here when post-production but let's increase its rate well, that's expert rate here and what I want to do is I'm gonna hold this down and we're gonna see how well this can fly um, turning off the optical flow optical flow should be off let's see if it's drifting is it drifting? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, it's drifting. There you go. There's the wind blowing it. So now it's just an altitude hold. With an with altitude hold mode, it should be able to flip. Let's see it. Let's see it do such. Let's do some funnels. This is its funnels going upwind. Pressing the flip button. There. So it can do flips. Oh, right to the side. That was a good flip, too, and you didn't see it. <laughs> Come back this way. That works. <laughs> nice little flyer. Now, again, flying this FPV, you know, the, the FPV on this is mainly to aim the camera. Let's bring it in close so you can see it. Mainly to aim the camera, it's not, you're going to have a hard time flying FPE with would point it down, downward like that. But Okay, let's go back to optical flow. Holding the button down. <laughs> Can, does it go, is it capable of going back to optical flow? Okay, that's the rates. Okay, now optical flow should be back on again. Position hold. Let's see if it is. Eh. Seems to be holding its position. Let's push it forward a bit. Letting go of the stick. We'll maintain position again. I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Let me get back in the camera. 
That seems to be drifting, to tell you the truth, folks. Let's go over here. Press the button again. I'm going to land it. And I think we might have to land it to go back to optical flow position hold. So let's try the land button, the automatic land button. Plop. Okay. Let's stop that video. Start it back up again. Putting the quadcopter there. And uh, I think we're in optical flow right now. Let's do a takeoff. Is it holding its position? No. So let's, let's land it again. We'll press that button that turns optical flow on and off. And this time, let's put it on the pad. Press the button. Not hearing a beep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to hear a beep or not. Let's do a takeoff. No. So, if you do turn off optical flow, <laughs> it, will, it will shut off its uh, ability to hold until you restart the quadcopter, I'm guessing. I'm not going to restart the quadcopter, though. We're just going to fly it around for the remainder of the flight here. You saw the optical flow does work when you first turn it on. Interesting looking drone. Do I still have the ability to flip? That'll tell me I'm in... Yeah, I'm still in altitude hold. I'm pressing this button down, trying to get it to switch back. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, I heard something there. Will it flip? Oh, if it, since it flipped, it's still in altitude hold mode. Let's go to higher rate. That flips. Okay, that's high rate. Uh, no, that's expert rate right there. There's its funnels and high rate. If you're into funnels. But, oh, there we go. It's not a very fast flyer in high rate. Unless it thinks, unless it's back at optical flow position hold. Ah, it is. Appears to be doing position hold again so I don't know what I did there to get it back to position hold but it's doing it and there we go that's the end of its battery power <laughs> that's what it does when it runs out of battery power so that's the Cheerson CX-43 um, 1080p camera uh, FPV and optical flow position hold so hope you enjoyed this flight let's get some thumbnails of it this is Quadcopter 101 signing out